During the first seven days, my father was lying to his captors outright, holding back as much information as possible, trying to mislead them any way he could. But then, on May 7th, international headlines around the world, U2 shot down, <clears throat> summit conference in jeopardy, Eisenhower caught embellishing, are the type of headlines you would have read. As a result, the uh, KGB guard in charge of the, new, of the interrogations comes rushing into the cell room, a copy of the New York Times, <laughs> shoves it in my dad's face, yells at him, you've lied to us. You told us you were trained in Arizona. Well, the New York Times says you were trained in Nevada at Area 51. You might as well tell us everything. We'll get it out of your American press anyways. So, here, Dad is stuck between a rock and a hard place. If he tells the full truth, he's given away secrets. If he lies to them, he could get shot, face the death penalty for espionage. So he resorts to the following during his three months of solitary confinement and interrogations. He tells the full truth when he knows they can verify the information in the press. That helps to give him credibility. Lies to them outright when he knows there's no way they can find out the information. Names of pilots, number of missions, specifications about the equipment on board the airplane. Then he gives a part truth, a part lie, dances around the subject when he knows they know something about the question they're asking, but not enough to contradict what he's telling them, such as the altitude he was flying. My father always maintained that he was at the maximum altitude of 68,000 feet when he was shot down. And he chose that altitude for two reasons. First, it was close enough to be believable, yet far enough away to keep other pilots out of harm's way should the missions continue. The second reason was to try to get a message home back to his employer, the CIA, hey guys, I'm not telling the full truth. And this was eventually discovered when he was brought back home and debriefed. 